Hey, this is the content and I welcome you to my channel. In our video today, we're going to look at one of the gas laws. One of the gas laws. The three or four gas laws, which are that. So specifically, we're going to look at Boyle's law. So now, what does Boyle's law state? So Boyle's law states that the volume of the fixed mass of a gas is inversely proportional to its pressure. So mathematically and symbolically, that's how we actually show the, the relationship. So now, if we were to write an equation and say V is equal to the constant of proportionality times 1 over P, which would actually give us K times 1, that's K over P. If we made that K subject to the formula, a constant of proportionality, we introduce a one there, then cross multiply there with the half PV, which is equal to K. Alright, so that's pressure times volume gives you the constant of pro proportionality. Now, what is kept constant and above law is actually temperature. Uh, so that that constant denotes temperature. Uh, so now in a case where you've been given pressure one and volume one, and then you're given pressure two as well as volume two, the equation now that you happen to use is P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Okay, so with that in place, we can now look at this problem that we have. Uh, so now the problem reads, a gas occupies a volume of two cubic meters. So now that's data, let's call it data. What we are given is volume one, which is two cubic meters. And then at the temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and pressure of, so this is P1, which is equal to 200 Newton cubic meters. Then we have, uh, okay, so now the question now is, what would be the volume of the gas if the pressure is reduced to 100 Newton per cubic meters? So pressure 2 is equal to 100 Newton per cubic meters. What they want us to resolve here is volume 2. So if the, the pressure reduced, then we expect volume 2 to increase. So now what, for, what formula are we going to make use of? The second one. So P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Uh, so now from here, uh, let me write somewhere you'll be able to see uh, right here. So we simply plug in the values. So pressure 1 is equal to 200. Then volume 1 is equal to 2, which is equal to. Then pressure 2 is equal to 100. And volume 2 hasn't been given, so we write it the way it is. So 200 times 2, that gives us a 400, which is equal to 100 times 3, really that's a 100 V2. Our interest is to know the value of V2. Let's say we divide both sides by 100. So we can say, therefore, here we're going to remain with V2. So V2 is equal to 0, zeros out. Uh, 1 into 4, that's actually 4 cubic meters. So <clears throat> we found, we, we've actually found the value of this, the secondary volume. So friends, that's how we do it. As simple as that. If you like the video, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that anytime I post a video, you happen to be highlighted. Thank you so much.